example. So Drake had a song called Wu Tang Forever. Right. And I, I didn't quite understand why exactly it was called that because uh, they sample the uh, the Wu Tang version somehow. Uh, or? I believe there was some type of sample. It's yours. The sample from It's Yours yeah. was in the record. But the sample that he used from It's Yours was the actual Teela Rock record. We sampled Teela Rock for It's Yours, our record. Now, he makes right. a record called It's Yours with the same Teela Rock sample, but it wasn't a, like he sampled us. So having that sample in there didn't make it like, okay, it's officially Wu-Tang to me. But he was like, you know, something, something, man getting his money, tell him it's yours. He, he was saying it like that. I'm like, yo, it, it don't represent what we were saying with it's yours. So I didn't understand how, you know, this is a dedication to Wu-Tang. For the people who don't know, when that happened, I, I went on Twitter and I was seeing, you know, being tagged in a whole bunch of tweets like, yo, uh, what's up? How you feel about that Drake shit? The boom, boom, boom. I, you know, I tweeted out, damn, yo, I'm just waking up. Why am I getting bombarded with all these Drake this tweets? You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what I said. Then everybody was like, oh, you must not have heard the song, whatever the case. And I'm like, nah, I didn't hear the song. But let me check it out now. I go hear the song. I'm listening to it word for word. I'm listening to it carefully. I'm listening like three, four times, trying to see where the, the Wu-Tang reference comes into where you tie that song to us. I could not find it. You know what I'm saying? So then I tweeted out, you know, on second thought, after hearing the song, I agree, it doesn't honor Wu-Tang like that. So it shouldn't be called Wu-Tang Forever. I put that tweet out, man, and, you know, the, 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 the Drake stands or whatever you want to call them, you know, they came after me on some, yeah, you wish you was... Drake made y'all hot and all this other silliness, bro. You know what I mean? I'm just like, okay, if that's what y'all think, that's what y'all think. I'm not going back and forth with internet trolls and shit. But, you know, but when they came after me, like, you know, why would you come after them? He, he's doing y'all a favor. And I'm just like, well, where is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see the connection. I'm, I'm not here to disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even in a position to disrespect a Drake. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm legendary on my own right, and I've done what I've done for the game on my own level. You know what I'm saying? He is the next level. He's the future. He's taking it where it's going now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm never going to disrespect that man for his hustle and his grind alone. You know what I'm saying? Now, if niggas say something about me or do something to me, or you know, that's a different story, man. But other than that, man, it's love and respect for that dude. I ain't got no problems with him. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now, what happened with the, with the remix? All I know is this, man. We in we we over we on on tour overseas and we're in um, Amsterdam. We get a hit, talk about yo Drake wants to jump on some shit. So you know, and I'm looking at it like, well, what the whole clan? What are we supposed to do? Put like two bars a piece, or how this gonna work out? And um, you know, it was like, yo, we just gonna have to work it out. How we worked out. I myself personally said, I'm not getting on the track. You know what I'm saying? I just said I don't I don't want no parts of it because it didn't sound right when it was when it was brought to me. And then when I heard the track itself, I don't know if it's the same track that even came out, but when I heard the track, it was like I wasn't feeling it. So I said, you know what? Y'all do it, man. Y'all handle it. You know, I figured they wanted, you know, the more familiar faces anyway, the Mephs, the Ray, the Ghost, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like when something's meant for me, it got my name on it. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you come to me, Deck, jump on this, I'm on it. But if you say, yo, he want us to do it, it normally goes to the same people. So I just counted myself out of that shit to, to avoid anything. You know what I mean? Okay, so so Drake could reach out to you guys. Yeah. Said to, to record some verses, but it, it never got used. It never got used, man. And I think what he sent us was the remix. Because like I said, that beat that I got, I don't, I don't remember it being the one that I heard that's, that was on his, on his album. So, um, you know, I guess that was the remix, but I didn't feel like it needed all eight of us, even if it was two bars a piece or whatever. I just felt like, you know, two or three people could handle that. You know, let Ray and Ghost, Meth get on it, make it, make it big, make it what it's supposed to be, make it what he's intending it to be. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, that's why I just said I gracefully bow out, bro. It ain't no, it ain't no big thing to me. I 
thought he was me one day. You know what I mean? When I heard when I heard some shit that I never even fucking. I'm like when I first got when I first got, we got put on and shit. I'm, I'm I'm asking myself when the fuck I do that verse. You know what I mean? I, you know, I text him. I say, Yo, what the fuck, yo, like. Yo, like that was always something I wanted to do, nigga. You kissed Madonna, nigga. He was like, son, have you ever kissed a fucking six million year old pterodactyl? 